Geologists are out with a very startling warning that Southern California is overdue for a major and possibly catastrophic earthquake. A new study says it's expected to hit along the San Andreas Fault north of Los Angeles. It could have a magnitude of 7.5 or higher. That's big. For the first time, scientists are closer to knowing when it could strike. CBS News Science and Futurist contributor Micho Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York City. Good morning to you, Professor. When I went to morning. see you in the green room, you said, I'm here with doom and gloom. <laughs> but let me tell you, I grew up in Cal high school and junior <clears throat> high. We've been hearing about an earthquake coming in California for years. What makes this different? Well, before it was all hocus pocus and black magic predicting earthquakes. And I was born in California, 10 miles from the San Andreas Fault, living under the shadow of the big one. Uh -huh. Now we can quantify this. And we now know that the San Andreas Fault is locked, loaded, and ready to rumble. Uh -huh. We now realize that the people of Los Angeles are living on borrowed time. We now know that by digging into the soil, we can go down 1,200 years into the past, looking at soil laid down hundreds of years ago, and we find 10 major earthquakes in the last 1,000 years. The difference in time is roughly 100 years on average. Yeah. The last big one was 160 years ago. Mm. So according to one calculation, we're 60 years overdue for another big one. You're talking what? about the great 1857 yeah. quake, right? That's right. It was a huge uh, 7.9 earthquake that, that was so big it actually liquefied the soil um, north of Los Angeles, like halfway between Bakersfield and L.A. And the tremors in that quake, by some reports, it lasted up to three minutes. Is that right? Uh, yeah. So we're not talking about just a few seconds, like maybe in a Northridge-type earthquake. We're talking yeah. about an earthquake that lasts for minutes. And also, the U.S. Geologic Survey did an estimate of property damage. Yeah. Uh, what could happen if the 1857 earthquake happens today? The numbers are frightening. $200 billion in property damage. That's billion with a B. Yeah. Uh, 50,000 people injured, five major skyscrapers toppled because of a gigantic earthquake, 7.8 in this study. Well, you're not sweetness and light this morning you're, with the information you're giving, but it is important. So if we live in the, if people who live in that area, what, what do, would you recommend them to do other than freak out? <laughs> First of all, don't panic because the next big <laughs> earthquake a, could happen decades that's from now. That's counterintuitive, Professor. We don't know precisely when. Seismology is not a predictive science. However, don't panic. Schools. I think schools should have a special session to teach their kids what to do, where to go, how to communicate in the process of an earthquake. Mm -hmm. Families should meet with everyone in the family. Do you have batteries, first aid kits, water, food? Who do you contact with? Uh, do you have like a, a radio, a transistor radio? Little things like this. They should have that. They should have that. Right now. Right now. And then longer term, building codes have to be uh, uh, accentuated, I think. And also power lines have to be reinforced and redundancies so we have power and buildings don't collapse unnecessarily. Because you're saying we may have, we may have decades, though. I mean, the energy's been building up, but, yeah. but, it, but, but it could be, I mean, we could be another 10, 20, 30 years. It could be tomorrow. It could be decades from now. We just know that the San Andreas Falls have been moving at about an inch a year. Yeah. So it's like winding up a clock. Yes. It gets tighter and tighter. An inch a year is the rate at which it's been tightening. Wow. Therefore, it's a law of physics. Uh, all that tension has got to go someplace. Mm -hmm. And so it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Yeah. yeah. Well, Michio Kaku. Always great to have your expertise this morning, <laughs> mm -hmm. however scary. Sometimes it's asteroids and meteors. Today it's earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Thank you.